chill pills bringing in what i what some people would refer to as the meat gang you have yourself chill bdk as unholy with chill pills on that frost little loves also is another frost dk at least there's one spec variety in there and they kind of does play differently we got freedom diver over on that team as well as super super <laughs> super lord <laughs> Oh, I like that name though. I see the bypass and blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> but the name bypass on this man gonna be chicago popping in the wall trying to see if they can live freedom divers are popping in ages together with shield of vengeance this man's immune to magic damage is still getting hit with the sun they're still getting hit with the sun chicago tried to ellie blast that dude but the ages absorb so much of it like a 50 percent absorption so there's basically like a 50 percent magic reduction it's actually so so <laughs> good luck see work oh no i noticed your is also running a different trigger together with little loaves that's gonna be interesting very very interesting chicago try to see if they could battle through freedom diving chicago and fisticuffs chicago's literally punching they literally got fist weapons it's almost like they got they don't really got anything oh was it a claws it looks like they got really really tiny claws on their hands or not even no those are knuckles yeah they got knuckles look at them literally punching freedom diver down try to see if they can knock him out of the game gonna be an interrupt under the flesh cap as freedom diver has himself big wings available the next auto check is gonna be a huge proc try not to get an auto check he's gonna get an object proc for chicago it's gonna go for the sun try to make some damage happen come to for chicago with the wall trying to survive the damage from the retribution paladin as they're trying to tempest verdict down chicago but might be super low on health no real bubble maybe a bomb might be able to help him with one ability or two to survive a trick and right now still trying to use the wings actually rotating real wings in order to keep themselves alive and healthy but chicago just relentlessly beating the living crap out of this beef <laughs> tenderizing the meat right now punching it as hard as they can for your diver at this point he's just like not even getting a strong strike he's just getting punched in the face <laughs> and just trying to survive the raw power of this enhancement shaman he's stunned and that's going to be a stun defensively freedom diver is on such a back foot he's literally having to use hodge not to set up for damage but rather just to find a way to mitigate the damage just try to stay alive and healthy here gonna be an interrupt on that holy does freedom have himself flesh cut he does have a big set of wings potentially stone in chicago chicago doesn't have a trigger for this do they burn it no not choosing not to does freedom have enough damage does it real wings chicago with the ages of their own will the potentially wall not using wall right now just go for the self heals use it as much offensives as they can just to give the pressure onto the pally as the wings are up trying to keep himself afloat and alive wake of ashes trying to smack down the hammer down onto chicago big earth shoulders back up for the shammy another sun could potential trick it freedom diver still has wings gonna be tricky at last second for chicago could also wall this actually kind of running out of mana sun totem not quite connected freedom diver does go for a trinket from the sunder and i think chicago might just have him with a couple lightning bolts does get this lightning bolts at the very end took him a little bit because the pallies do end up surviving for quite a long time Little Loves is up next. Little Loves actually burning a very interesting trinket. I don't even know what the name of this cosmic trinket for the new season, but it does give him immunity to CC to the next two interrupts or next two crowd control abilities. When they use it, it is a three minute cooldown. So Little Loves tried to make sure that his burst was unmitigated, but Chicago didn't even go for the CC. Chicago literally just ran the other direction. So Little Loves tried to go for the biggest setup but just couldn't quite catch the shaman quick silence on the chicago actually could have went for a flesh cup with that silence because you do stop the shaman from being able to cast wind shield with that silence little loves is sacrificing his gold but for what purpose because his health is super under pressure oh no ams last ditch effort sunder could still go right through it it's gonna go for a death back necrotic and out a lot of his health doesn't really have a lot of health to work with trying to get himself a morsel winter last attempt at burst last attempt at glory does he catch up to chicago trying to get a grip in does chicago get stunned up or a morsel i don't know if little loves runs it death pack should be coming offline right now might be able to get himself a death trick or two to heal for a little bit longer but chicago with the alley blast dunking onto onto that death knight it was super lord gonna be up next with a big old blaze storm recklessness in rage regen this man popped every button on his cooldowns what's happening chicago trying to see if they can survive the blender that is the blender walking warrior by the way nice yoga pants I like this guy's yoga pants look at that stylish the helm i'm a big fan of the weapons are like a contrast 
which went like i could be your devil or your angle kind of feel and them yoga pants though oh looking good chicago tried to get a heal in between that's gonna be not a problem from uh lord but lord is behind on damage and in healing he burned all his offensive defenses all at once i'm not sure if you want to do that gonna be a trying to break out of the thunder with zerkers but the capacitor told him shocks his body keep it in place big ascendance does lord is lord able to ascend against the ascended chicago try to see if they can fight right through chicago has goals of joining in ascendance looks like it was mitigated pretty well by lord does have a lot of healing quick interrupt quick reflect quick be big avatar but i think chicago is just gonna get a punch out in the end the end oh my goodness chicago so far taking these boys out for a walk team alliance it took us a while to get a team alliance together but chicago is just a one-man army did they really need more people in there stun on chicago a ship was clawing at him with a bomb limb sounds of chicago putting pressure onto them chicago oh, and ship was doesn't taking him out who's up next it looks like it is going to be seamark up next with Chupils playing a different setup seamark is doing big damage to Chupils big touch to the magic massive damage going to be chill you were getting out of that uh cc i think it was a stun Chupils taking a lot of pressure from touch of the magic trying to get some damage back to seamark so we're going for a vision to give himself a little bit more defensive looks like it was a really invest silence on the seamark might have to ice bug this is under of pressure it's going to be uninterrupted to a polymorph now you got a big poly onto Chilpas. Now Chilpas can be CC'd. And Seamark is actually burning through those charges by repolymorphing Chilpas multiple times in a row. Yep. You see that orb? That orb next to Chilpas, that means he's immune to interrupts or CC for at least two charges. If you see that orb floating next to him, he's got an immunity. It's going to be a bit of a visual thing for a lot of people to figure out. I still am learning how to how the last stuff works, to be honest. But it's going to be something to look out for. So if you see that thing, you're like, okay, there's something cheesy about it. I don't know what it is. But I don't like it. Gonna be Seamark getting hit with the chain of ice and then try to waddle away from Chupas. He's gonna try to land a polymorph. Gonna be a Nova. Nova actually does frog the trinket though. He can get Nova and that polymorph uh, and he's gonna get the CC immunity. You can't even Nova this guy. He's gonna get a big old grip to Seamark. Seamark might have to ice block it. That's a ton of damage. Try to re polymorph Chupas. Touch of the magic and set up. Potentially gonna have big damage. And Chupas does have AMS. Mirrors the Troman and Chupas. So eventually he is gonna get CC'd. Again, try to re polymorph Chupas to make sure he's interruptible. Gonna be Seamark. Oh, getting a. Getting the sword. Getting the chop. Getting the axe. Getting the pop. As Shiro is gonna be up next. So Chilpas try to see if you can blast out through this feral. Feral got up normal trinket this time around, by the way. Chilpas, as you walk into the duel, at 13 minutes into the duel, 53% dampener. Chiro got plenty of bites, plenty of bleeds. That's going to be a lot for him to heal through. That bass duel is going to make Chilpas immune to CC, but I don't really know if Chiro needs the back to back stuns. He can really make a lot happen in a single stun. In a single bash, he might be able to make a ton happen. Chilpas trying to go for first aid. Gonna be that center Gosa flying through the sky with a frost and fury. Sounds on Chiro, who does go for a wall while they're unable to get a cast off for a heal. Gonna be their most way to stunning them. Chilpas, does he have any more damage? Does he have any more pressure? Building up for as much running power as he can. Quick roll by Chiro. Chilpas is gonna be immune to CC for a short time being. Blind on Chiro. Does force a trick out of the feral joint. Chiro is gonna have his health stolen by Chilpas little by little. Gonna be that death pack for Chilpas with a big old obliterate from the Brock. Big damage setup. And I just gotta find a way to survive versus Red Bull. Red Bull charging out here. Esfand? Oh, you sure? At least you have yourself like the facial hair like Esfand. I think it'd be awesome. This ship was trying to desperately get some, some heals from Red Bull. Death Strike's flying with an AMS, but he's got nothing left. And 59% dampener. Not much you can really do. Best thing Chilpas can really do right now is try to slow down. The Paladin try to maybe survive it long enough until maybe he can get some cooldowns in there. Morse Winter is getting stacked up. AMZ is down. He's going to get the pet summoned. Potentially sacrifice it. Might need to right now. Trying to get as much heal as he can. Sacrifice the pet before Dampity gets any higher. You definitely need to sacrifice the pet. I think he just wants to let the pet attack Red Bull for a while. Whatever free damage you can get is best. Silence. Red Bull just goes in for the slam. Not much you can really do in that situation. That's a tough one to be in. Red Bull drone in for a big Seraphim versus Beat and DK. And the man is trying to get himself a full army set up. Gonna be a big A bomb limb with the A abomination join in. Bubble out of Red Bull. As he got himself some healing, but that 64% dampener. Not much you can really do about it. BDK, back it up out of there. Maybe he can go for a grip onto Red Bull. He does get a grip, a stun. Potentially might be over. Ooh, taking him out. Is this rank a uh, tier set gamer, by the way? Was that an execute? Was that an execute bonus? Was that execute damn? I don't think I've seen him spawn in a ghoul yet. 
Gonna be the rogue errorless trying to be errorless in this dual trinket out of the first CC. Gonna be BDK trying to pop every defensive, trying to mitigate at least the shadow blades damage out of the rogue. The army of the dead, no, not getting the army of the dead. Instead, he's got the dot with the crit fever. Instead, he's able to blast through and pop a bunch of those festering wounds versus enemies. He's able to stack it up. Big apocalypse to pop festering wounds and get a crit fever on the enemy, which is a dot. Gonna be airless going for an opener, but that diamond is stealth immediately. Beat DK trying to see if he can survive a trinket out of this one. Does he have any CC whatsoever for this rogue? Does get a stun. No trinket for the rogue. Airless is beat DK is gonna get himself another dot onto airless trying to beef up the pet. Ledgeborn is gonna potentially be some survivability, but airless literally spin to wins. Not giving the man much of an opportunity, but Shilp is going for three. Back to back. It's super high damp. Well done, well done. Mr. DK is mage eater. Yeah, it is pretty tough to fight though. It is a lot of grips, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of a bomb limbs, a lot of ranger trips, a lot of slows, blind stun.